Now we're gonna try some of this right now and same deal. I mean, if it shoots, it shoots, that would be great. But if it doesn't shoot, this is, in case you can't see it, this is six Creedmoor Hornady Black 105 grain boat tail hollow point. So we'll just try it and we'll see what we get. All that we know so far, is that still running? Yeah. All we know so far, just from what we have saw, is this gun's going to really shoot. But you're gonna have to get it to do, you're gonna have to use hand loads to get it to down to its potential. bad thing is the wind is picking up every every minute we sit here it's getting a little bit windier all right watch your ears one thing it's shooting two different bullets to the same point of impact that's good that's another part of the criteria of how I judge a rifle if it'll shoot two or three different bullets all to the same place that's a good gun Okay, it's definitely trying. So we've got a little triangle up there. I'm gonna shoot two more and ruin it. But I think what we ought to do is let it cool down here just for a minute. So if you wanna shut that off, that's okay. If your front bag gets packed too hard, you'll get vertical in your groups. So you gotta keep loosening that front bag up every now and then, your rear one too, actually. All right, all you gotta do is put one more through there and we have a semi-decent group. Okay, so it likes these. Can you see it? All right, would you just go ahead and walk out and film that, or you guys ride out? That way it'll be confirmed. Hornady Factory Ammo, six Creedmoor. Running? We're running. All right, so he's asking me about powder and stuff and what we're going to do, how I would do it. it, it it's, it's, that's irrelevant. So in other words, as long as you pick a powder that is the right burn rate, and as long as you look in a book and don't go over maximum, I'm not even hardly concerned with it. Now, does that mean that powder doesn't influence groups? Of course it does. But when you've already got a gun that will shoot quarter of an inch, and this is a varmint gun, I'm not trying to get to the zeros. You understand? If I could get to the zeros without days worth of work, then I'll, you know, I'll do it, right? Because that just makes sense, you get what you can. But what I'm not gonna do is, unless I'm in a tunnel, unless I have all my reloading supplies, my full reloading outfit right beside me, like right here, I'm not gonna mess with powder. Because the other thing is, I would rather be in the, I would rather be in the reloading room, getting it to the kernel on my Satorius scale, than be out here throwing it out of a measure. Because he can't really bring that Satoria scale out into the field. Because any little bit of wind or anything messes it up. So I'd rather get a perfectly uniform powder charge if the velocity is a little bit low. So what? I don't care. The only thing I really care about powder is it's the right burn rate. It's the right density, the right fill density, and that it's not over max. In other words, we're not running pressure. That's, that's all I care. And that's another really good reason, by the way, to have a chronograph. So what, what have we learned? We've learned that with either 105s or 107s, it's running right at 3,000 feet a second, right? So if I would load some up and come out here, say I'd load up some, some 107s, just like this same bullet, and I shot it across the chronograph and it's going 3,400 feet a second, I would know that I'm over. See, that's, that powder is not as important as what people think it is. Is it important? Yes, but it's not as, it, bullets and seating depth are way more important than powder, as long as it's the right kind of powder, and it has the right fill density. That's it. Okay, thanks. All right, in the dirt, right over top of the box at 12 o'clock, in that patch of grass right above it. Ha, huh, it actually blew it over. All right. Are you filming? Oh, I didn't even know you were.
Now you all realize Chuck Norris would not screw this up. Okay. Elvis has left the building! Good group. No pressure. Alright, again, if you guys later on, if you want to shoot this with this ammo, I don't mind. But we're going to go on now and do what we have to do. Um, I want to, want to make sure that you, I'm talking about the camera person, end up putting those two targets side by side and lay the individual ammo on top of each thing so that you can see horrible group with this ammo, which does not mean it's bad ammo, and really awesome group with this ammo, which doesn't mean it's really great ammo. All it means is this ammo over here was not compatible with this gun, and this ammo right here is compatible with this gun. And it can be the bullets, it can be the cartridge overall length, it can be the powder, it can be the brass, it can be like a hundred different things. But all we know is this shoots really great. This was the, I can't see, what's that say? 130, 130, grain. 130 grain hybrid open tip, right? Open tip match. Burger. Match. Right. And that other one, which I can't remember, that was Sierra Match King, it didn't want it, didn't like it at all. But again, it's no reflection on the ammo. It's just compatibility. It didn't like this, it does like this. And this group is about, it's a five shot group and I kind of like the group because it's very round and a dime would easily cover it, no problem. So it's, you know, it's three tenths, four tenths of an inch with factory ammo. But one really positive note is we know this is a good gun, good barrel. All right, so guys, go round up the targets and do whatever you need to do. That way yes, that way. that's the... 130 so grain burger. Uh, Those are ten and a half feet long. I'm thinking about leaving five and a half feet in yeah. and five feet up. Open tip match, yes. So they'll look cool. And that's the group like stuff heavy duty. that's not as good that the gun you doesn't like as well. well look, look. A little more. Okay, that'd be okay. Lock it down. Pull the chronograph toward you a little bit. Somehow it's getting moved around. Just drag the whole thing toward you a little bit. Whoa. Take, take the front leg that way. Whoa, that's fine. All right. So, what do we got to do here? We got a bore sight. I can't even get. So, just pay attention. This is, this is 338 Lapua improved, but as it goes in, it's 338. So, I want you to see this, right? All right, here, look. Okay, so we'll lay, we have two of them out, right? So I'm gonna let one lay here, and I'm gonna shoot this one. Everybody cover up. You're shooting 200, right? Here you go. So you see, this is what we put in, this is what came out. Blew that deck out. Two totally different things, right? Yep. All right, so we're a little bit high. I don't see a hole with the spot. So I'm gonna broke. crank this down. Well, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hold dead on, you and I'm gonna click to the bullet hole. You shot 100, not 200. And I gotta go right. Did you shoot 100 or 200? Whoop, one too many. Whoop, right there. All right, I'm gonna put another one on. You, you shoot 100 or 200? Can't hear you. 100? 200 yards. Is that what you sh What? You ain't on, you're not on the paper at 200. I'm hmm? not on the paper? No, not oh, at crap. 200, you're not. Hey. I can see the bullet hole. 100. 100. 
You're shooting 100. Oh, no wonder I was high. Here. Okay, don't put that in there yet. Gosh dang it. Let me. Point is, I'm, I needed that height. How much did I just take it down? So I need to go back. One, two, three. Okay, we're there. All right. Vicky, come here. Where are you? I need this turret, Zero. Get, get, get my glasses so I can see. And use that number right there for the 2680, so that puts it exactly at 2700, okay? So you want 2700? 2700 is what it's running at right now. And yes, that's not perfectly zeroed. Shut this off? Yeah, you can. Get it right, we'll go straight to 200. Save ammo. Chronograph, <laughs> right? Scott, is the chronograph okay? You have to hit. What's the, the deal? You good on no, that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it on. Zero Wait. right here. The hot okay. Cover. Yeah. You good and hot? It's close, but it'll miss it. <laughs> oh crud. This, this is, you should really have glasses on when you're messing with this kind of stuff. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to 50. In fact, I almost wonder, well, I don't want to risk your ammo. I, I could probably go straight to 100. But we're going to 50. All right, we are Two and inch a half. and a half high. Two inches left. So same thing. Click to the bullet hole. Now I think it would be okay to, to risk here. Come hold the gun, please. I think it would be okay to risk going straight to 200. We can save some ammo. This is all you got, right? That's it. That's it. All right, here. So we're gonna take a risk, a calculated risk. <coughs> Because that was your fouling shot. That that 2762. Alright. So we're going to 200. Someone watching? Okay. See where it hits. Okay, it's dead center low, right? Alright. So do the same thing. Hold on the orange and click right to it. All right, the next one should go right through the orange. You want to go one click over? That wind's blowing to the right. I don't know if it'll blow that. And actually, bullet. that's a hair on the right. I want to click it one left. Okay. Ready? Got quite a left to right crosswind. Right at the top of the bowl, right? Yep. Okay, that's good. 
All right, let's zero your turret. What's You're the like, velocity? What's the velocity by the way, for you that? Got two twenty-eight hundred in a row, exactly the same number. Ooh. Twenty-eight. Two seven seven. Two seven seven five two eight. Two eight hundred. That's two eight hundred. So that's the number you're going to use for his when we run the run the thing. Vicky, you can shut that off for a second. We got a zero. Original ammo, or do you want the last fifty we loaded? Um, I got twenty of the original. Okay. Twenty of the original. Okay. Twenty of the original. Here, look what I'm doing. <clears throat> look over here. I'm putting yours, your studs. I guess I'm gonna put them right here, like that. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Rear, middle, front. All right. Um, let's use the the old stuff just to get on the paper. Okay. The only thing is, you realize then we're not gonna get accurate numbers. Maybe we shouldn't do that because we're gonna get accurate numbers for downrange. And that new stuff we added powder. A grain and a half. Right, so it's going to go faster. Mm -hmm. um, that's up to you. You do whatever you want to do. I would shoot whatever you're going to hunt with this fall. Well, here's not the issue. The I'm issue not is, it. well, you never know. If I can't get one dialed, you bring this. But um, we could use the first one. This is the very first shot. We could use right, the right, other. Right, right, exactly. And then after that, we exactly. Use... All right, guys, I need some help over here. <clears throat> Brake case is right there on the back of the four wheel. Are you guys ready? I'm gonna get back on it. Hold dead center again. Going hot. Shooting a 338 Lapois. 500 yards. Of that other one. I'll send her up to measure it. Hey Vicky, run up and measure that. You got your measuring tape and stuff, right? No. 